Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Kuldeep here, and today we are going to see few more operations that we can perform with help of actions class in Selenium. As the part of today's session, we will see that how we can perform the scrolling on the web page, how to open the link in the new tab, and uh, copy and paste the text from one field to another. And in the last, we will see that how we can perform the drag and drop. All of these operations we will perform with the help of actions class. So let's start. Okay, so I believe like you have already seen my first video on actions class. Uh, if not, then please watch it before coming to the second part. So let me create one class here, its name as the actions demo2. Select the main method. Let's utilize the code to launch the Chrome browser. Let's start with the first operation that is scrolling the web page. So this is my web page and we will see that how we can perform the scrolling on this web page. If we need to perform the scrolling for this page, so what we need to do? So we need to click on the control and end button to scroll it down. Okay. And if we want to scroll it up, then we need to press the control and home button. Okay, so now we need to simulate these keyboard actions with the help of actions class. Let me change the URL here. Right. Okay. Now we need to create an object of actions class and pass our driver here. Right. Let's import the correct package. We need to import this org.openqa.selenium.interactions. Right, you can see like the error has gone. First, we need to perform the scroll down. Okay, so let's see how we can simulate these keyboard actions. So I will write the act dot down and which key I need to press. I need to press the control key. So I will write the keys dot control. Okay. And after that, we need to press the end key so that our page gets scrolled down. I will write the keys dot end as we know, like whenever we are working with the actions. So, in the end, we need to write the build dot perform. So, basically, what will happen with the help of actions class pressing the control and end keys so that our page gets scrolled down. And now let's try to execute program and see what is the outcome here. We we'll simply right click and uh, run a Java application. Okay, so here you can see like it has just scrolled the page very quickly. We can do one thing like we can add some weight here. So let's write down the thread dot sleep. So let's put a weight of 2000 millisecond at this throw declaration here. Again, let's execute it and see what is happening here. So now the execution will be a bit slow. Here you can see like it is scrolling the page in a slow manner. Now say as we need to perform the scroll up again, it is very simple. As we know, like to scroll up, we need to press the control and home key. So now let's see how we can simulate this keyboard action. Let's make it scroll up. We will write the SCT dot is down. We need to press the control key, right, dot, send keys, and now what we need to do, we need to press the home button, right, and in the end, we need to write the build, dot, perform, okay, can add some weight here as well, so that execution gets a bit slow, and uh, we can see how it is working exactly. Let me execute it again. Simply run a Java application. Okay. So browser is getting lost. Here you can see that it has scrolled down and scrolled up. That's the way you can scroll up and scroll down. Okay. Now let's see that if we need to open the link, like say this is my register link and I want to open this link in a new tab. What I want basically, I want to open this link in a new tab. 
so it should look like this register page should be opened when i click on the register link okay now we will see that how we can open the link in a new tab okay so let's see how we can do it okay so first we need to identify the register link so to identify this link simply right click and inspect here we can see it has the text as register so let's utilize its text to identify this link right in this way like driver dot find element y dot link text and what is our link text it's register so i will write the register here to open this link in the new tab we need to write the send keys okay and after that keys dot cord so we use the concept of the keys dot cord when we want to press the multiple keys at the same time so what we are doing basically here we will write the keys dot control okay comma keys dot enter right okay so what we are doing here basically we are pressing the control and enter so that the register link gets opened in the new tab okay so let's comment down this code of a scroll down and a scroll up and simply execute the code to open the register link in the new tab okay so i will simply comment it out and now just we will execute the code to open the register link in the new tab simply right click and run a java application okay so here you can see like it has launched the website and after that it has clicked on register link you can see like it is sort of highlighted in blue color as well and after that the register link has been opened in the new tab so this is the way you can open any link in the new tab so let's move to the next operation and the next operation is copy and the paste text from one field to another so let's consider that this is our web page i need to enter some text here in the first name and I want the same text inside the last name. So let's consider that I write here Kumar, okay, and the same text I need to put it here. So what I need to do, I need to copy this text and paste it here. I don't need to type anything manually in the last name text field. How we can do it? So first, let's identify this web element first name. Here you can see like it has the ID. As the first name so we can use the id to identify this first name text field and write in this way like driver okay so let's comment out this code and change the url as well right let's identify the first name text field so i will write the driver dot find element void dot id and what is our id id is the first name okay let's store it inside a web element so i will write the web element your first name f name equals to this one okay import the correct package for the web element now let's identify the last name okay Okay, for the last name, we can also use the ID, and here you can see that the ID is the last name. So let's utilize the same to identify this web element. So I will write the driver dot find element y dot id, and let's keep it inside a web element. I will write the web element last name. I will keep it l name. Okay, so we have identified the first name and last name. First, what we need to do, we need to enter some text inside this first name. Okay. We know that we can use the send keys, so I will write the f name dot send keys. So we can keep any name, so like I am writing here Kumar. And we need to copy the text which we have entered in the first name and paste the same text inside the last name. Okay, you know very well, like. 
if we need to select the text which we have entered in the first name so first we need to double click so that the text gets selected and after that you need to just press the control c so that it gets copied and then click on the last name and press the control b so that uh, the text gets pasted inside the last name okay so let's try to simulate all of these keyboard actions so first i will write the act dot we need to select the complete text so i will write the control key so to press the control keys i need to write the keys dot control okay and we need to use the control a so we need to write the a here okay which we have entered uh, inside the first name get selected okay after that we need to write the build dot perform now we need to copy it okay so i will write the act dot is down is dot control dot send keys so to copy i need to write the c so my text which i have entered inside the first name gets copied after that i need to write the build dot perform okay once my text gets copied from the first name then i need to paste it inside the last name so let's see how we can do it so to enter the text inside that first we need to click on this button okay so i will write like l name dot click so that it is just clicking on that last name text field okay and after that i need to basically paste the text of the first name so i will write the act dot and to paste the text we need to simply use the control b okay so i will write the act dot is down okay is dot control okay dot send keys and b here to paste the text which i have copied from the first name and after that i need to use the dot build dot perform okay so let's execute this program so i will simply right click and run a java application okay so it is launching the web page okay but it is not doing anything here so let's see what is the problem Okay, so the problem here is like unable to locate the web element that is the first name. So we have done some mistake in identifying this web element. See what is the problem here. So I hope like you got the problem. I have written the first name in this way, but you can see like the N is the capital here. That's why the problem is coming. So let's correct it. Okay, and I believe last name is correct. Okay, yeah, so last name is correct. So let's try to execute this program again. I will simply right click and run a Java application. Here you can see like it has simply entered the Kumar in the first name and after that it has copied the text from the first name and paste inside the last name. This is the way you can perform the copy and the paste from one text field to another with the help of actions class. Okay. Let's move to the next one. The next one is drag and drop. Let's see how we can perform the drag and drop operation. So let's comment out this. Okay. Guys, this is the page, okay, where we will see that how we can perform the drag and drop. So here you can see like there are a couple of buttons, like the there is some currency is given here. After that, they have given the bank, sales, okay. And what we need to do, we need to click on this bank button okay and drop it inside the account so this is the way we need to perform the drag and drop okay so first we need to identify both web elements first is bank okay so i will simply right click and then inspect it here you can see like it has text it is the bank okay i will write the li a okay and we can use the contents text text is the bank Okay, so here you can see like it has started identifying the bank. Okay, 
So let's write in this way like driver dot find element by dot x path. This is my x path. Okay. Let's keep it inside a web element. So I will write the web element bank button. Okay. Let's identify the account name like this area. It has the class attribute here. So let's utilize the same. So let's write a driver dot find element by dot class name. Class name is a placeholder. So I will write the class name as placeholder. Okay. And let's keep it inside a web element like the web element. We can give a name like the place. Okay. Now what we need to do, we need to pick this bank and drop inside this placeholder. So we can write in this way like act dot there is method called drag and drop. Okay, so you can see like this is the method. It takes two elements. So first is the web element source. Okay. So basically which element we want to drag and target means like where we want to drop that element. Yeah, that's quite fine. Like we want to drag this bank button and drop it to the place. Okay. After that we need to write the build dot perform. So guys, that's it. We need to change the URL. Okay, so I will change the URL. Okay. Right. So let's execute it and see what happens here. You can see like it has uh, clicked on the bank and put it here inside the account fields. It was very quick. You can use some thread dot sleep here. So that we can see the execution in bit slow manner. Okay. So let's execute it. Okay. Now you can see like it has clicked on the bank and put it inside the account section. So this is the way you can perform the drag and drop. Okay. There is another way by which we can simulate the drag and drop operations. So let's see what is that. First, we need to click on the source web element. So I will write the ACT dot click and hold. We need to click and hold our bank button, right? After that, we need to take a pause for the some duration dot like offset of seconds. There is one option like offset of seconds. So, for the how much time we want to give pause, okay? So, let's keep as 10 seconds. Then, we need to move that element to the another location. So, after that, we need to write the move to element. And what is our target element here? The target element is the place only, okay? And again, we can take a pause. We can give a duration. Okay, offset of seconds. So let's keep at 10 second. Okay. And uh, we need to release the element here. And build dot or part. Okay. So here we are clicking the bank button, holding for some time. And then we are moving it to the target location. After that, we are releasing there. This is another approach with help of that we can perform the drag and drop. So let's uh, comment this thread dot sleep as of now. Let's see how the things are working now. So simply right click and the run a Java application. Okay, so let's see. It basically clicked and hold the bank button and released it to the account location. This is another approach. We can perform the drag and drop operations. Okay. So, guys, that's it for the today's video. I have explained all the operations that we can perform with the help of actions class in the Selenium. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much.